Toneforge Jeff Loomis is a virtual guitar tone solution developed as an audio plugin and standalone application by Joey Sturgis Tones in collaboration with guitarist Jeff Loomis and legendary metal producer Jens Bogren. Toneforge Jeff Loomis is an all new collection of guitar tone tools for forging new metal guitar tones, as well as faithful recreations of some of the best metal tones from Jeff's work with bands like Nevermore, Arch Enemy, and many others. Check out some of these impressive tones created with Toneforge Jeff Loomis. For more examples, visit joeysturgistones.com or check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. Now let's get into how you can achieve tones just like this and take full advantage of Toneforge Jeff Loomis. For starters, Toneforge Jeff Loomis can be accessed in one of two ways. For studio users looking to use Toneforge Jeff Loomis in their session, simply locate the plugin from your mix window as you would any other plugin. Other users may wish to use Toneforge Jeff Loomis in a standalone mode, in which case a standalone application is included with the standalone installation package automatically. Navigate to your Applications folder on Mac or Start menu on Windows and click on Toneforge Jeff Loomis to launch the application. Upon opening Toneforge Jeff Loomis, owners of other Toneforge plugins will recognize a familiar interface. This plugin opens to the AMP module with a signal path menu running across the bottom of the window that allows you to switch to other modules within the plugin. Clicking on the signal path text will open a signal chain view where you can enable and disable various modules. Surrounding the window are some global controls that remain visible no matter which module you've got open. In the top left of the window is the gate knob, which is off when turned to the left and increases to negative 10 when turned to the right. The more the knob is turned to the right, the more the gate will cut unwanted noise, hiss, or hum from your signal. Only an input signal above the threshold that you set will engage the gate. Directly below the gate knob is your input knob, which controls the amount of gain coming into the plugin. Values here can range from negative 70 decibels to plus 12 dB, with an optimal input level where your loudest peaks remain below the red portion of the input meter below. The input level of the plugin can be calibrated automatically by holding shift and double clicking on the input knob. When the plugin is set to auto calibration mode, a progress bar will pop up providing additional instructions. Press and cancel at any time during calibration will exit the process and return you to the previous window. On the right side of the plugin, you'll find a tuning fork and a help icon, as well as your output knob. Clicking on the tuning fork will open the Toneforge Jeff Loomis tuner, while the help icon will display information about your current version of Toneforge Jeff Loomis and gives you access to the text manual in PDF format. Your output knob is the final gain stage of the plugin and controls the overall output volume. Just like the input knob, values range from negative 70 decibels to plus 12 dB, with an optimal level that doesn't reach red on the meter. Next up is the top bar of the plugin. Starting from the left and working our way across to the right, users can use the resize button to select from several sizes for the plugin window. Next, the main menu button will expose the management options for presets, live sets, and MIDI mappings. To the right of the main menu is the preset menu. Manager, which allows you to switch quickly and easily between factory presets created by JST, Jeff Loomis, and Jens Bogren, JST community presets, and any user presets that you've created for yourself. Modified presets can be overwritten or saved as brand new presets. On the right side of the toolbar, there are buttons to switch to live view or mini mapping view, plus an input icon that allows you to change the plugin to accept both stereo or mono instrument inputs. Let's take a closer look at the live view of Toneforge Jeff Loomis. Switching to the live view, you'll see the scene group, a collection of six presets and two navigational buttons. Just above the top row of the scenes, you'll see your scene group name, which can be edited by double clicking on the text. Scenes in Toneforge Jeff Loomis are perfect for live sets where you need to be able to toggle between different amp tones and settings on the fly. Right-clicking on any scene option will allow you to assign presets to that scene, clear the current preset, or start the MIDI learn process, which will allow you to switch to that scene with a MIDI CC or no input. On the right side of the live mode, you have two navigational buttons that allow you to switch between scene groups. Navigation can also be controlled by MIDI input. While most controls and options can be mapped to a MIDI input by right clicking on them, the best place to see a comprehensive list of MIDI mappings is on the MIDI mappings view. 
By clicking on this icon from the toolbar, you'll be able to access a comprehensive list of mini mappings currently active in your plugin. We'll include the name of the parameter, the mini message mapped to that parameter, and an option to delete or forget that mapping. Mini mappings can be easily imported or exported from the plugin on the main menu. Now that you got an idea of how Toneforge Jeff Loomis Global Controls operate, let's get into the signal path itself. At the front of your signal chain, you've got your effects pedals, including the guitar comp and the overdriven stomp boxes. The guitar comp is a simple two-knob compressor with controls for output and sensitivity. Output controls the output level of the signal from the pedal, while sensitivity controls the compression ratio of the pedal. The pedal can be bypassed by clicking on the switch at the bottom. Once you're done setting up the guitar comp pedal, you can use the Back to Effects Overview button to go back to the overview. The overdriven pedal is based on a classic industry standard overdrive pedal used on countless albums and live rigs. On the pedal, you can set the amount of distortion with the drive knob and then compensate for any changes in volume with the balance knob. The tone knob will change the tone of the effect as it's decreased. The second module in our signal path is the amp module, where you're able to select between clean, rhythm, and lead channels. The clean channel offers a gain knob to control the gain of the preamplifier, a clarity knob to increase the definition of the signal, low, mid, and high EQ controls, a presence knob to boost or cut the upper frequencies of your signal, and a volume control. Switching to the rhythm channel, users are met with a similar interface with a channel capable of delivering a dirtier tone. The master knob replaces the volume knob for overall volume control and acts like a real master knob on an amp. Bass and treble are going to replace low and high respectively. Unique to the rhythm channel is the tube switch, allowing users to switch between 6L6 and EL34 power amp tubes on the fly. Each tube type offers a unique gain structure and tone. Setting the master knob volume very high while lowering the output knob on the Toneforge plugin will allow you to push the output tubes on the amp. The lead amp is by far the most powerful channel out of the three options in Toneforge Jeff Loomis, perfect for blistering lead guitar parts that need to cut through even in the densest of mixes. The lead channel has a gain knob to control the amount of gain in the preamplifier, followed by a shred knob that changes the voicing of the amp, enhancing the mid-range and top-end harmonic content of the signal as it's increased. Following the shred knob are low, mid, and high EQ controls, a presence knob to boost or cut the upper frequencies of your amp signal, and a volume knob to control the volume of the channel. Immediately following the amp module is the cabinet module, where users are able to choose from various cabinet and microphone settings. At the top of the module, users have a cab mode selector, allowing you to choose between single or dual cab mode. In single cab mode, you'll be able to select from a range of cab options or load your own impulse responses with the included Toneforge IR loader. By default, the plugin uses the JST matched cab, hand-picked settings paired perfectly with each amp channel. When using JST matched cab, microphone selections are not available. Switching to the JST Classic 4x12 cab exposes four mic options, condenser, 421, 57, and 57 off-axis. Unique to Toneforge Jeff Loomis is the inclusion of the Bogren Digital Cab. With the Bogren Digital Cab, you've got access to never-before-released impulse responses, created specifically for this plugin by Jens Bogren himself. Jens is known worldwide for his incredible metal guitar tones, so having these custom-built cab settings in this plugin is a huge deal. Despite all of the options that single cab mode provides, switching to dual cab mode, each cab has its own bypass, polarity, level, and pan control. And when dual cab mode is active, there's a blend option in the center to help you find the perfect balance between the two cabs. After the cab module, Toneforge Jeff Loomis has a dedicated effects loop for controlling your time-based effects pedals. The first pedal in the module is the Skybox, a boutique-style plugin with seven unique reverb algorithms. Users can select from Cloud, Coral, Shimmer, Room, Plate, Spring, or Blood modes, and further fine-tune their reverb with the other knobs in the plugin. Decay controls the decay time of your signal. Pre-delay controls the delay time before your reverb signal appears. Mix controls the balance of wet and dry signals. The tone knob controls the high frequency content of the reverb signal, and the mod knob adds modulation based on the reverb mode that's been selected. The switch at the bottom allows you to bypass the pedal altogether. The effects module also includes an Echo Man Delay digital pedal. With the Echo Man, you've got a delay with straightforward controls and an easy to read digital readout, making it clear how the plugin is currently configured. Start by deciding whether to sync the pedal with the BPM of your session using the toggle switch above the digital readout. When synchronized, the time knob will function in note units, allowing you to set the speed of the delay in relation to the session. When disabled, the time knob will control the delay time in milliseconds. Next to the time knob is a tone knob for controlling the frequency cutoff of the low pass filter. 
The last knob in the top row is the mix knob, allowing you to control the balance between the dry and processed signals. In the second row of knobs, you've got a width knob for adjusting the stereo spread of the delay, and a feedback knob for adjusting the number of repeats of the delay. As with all of the other stomp boxes in Toneforge Jeff Loomis, there's a bypass switch at the bottom of the pedal. As we get into the final two modules of Toneforge Jeff Loomis, we shift our focus towards the mixing tools that the plugin has to offer. The first is the equalizer module, which contains four EQ bands, bass, low, mid, and high. Each band slightly overlaps with the bands to the left or right, providing some unique options for how you can stack or separate your EQ. All EQ adjustments here act on the overall signal, whereas the amp EQ settings are applied before the cabin effects loop. The last module in Toneforge Jeff Loomis is the Dynamics Processor. The Dynamics module has three main controls, crossover frequency, intensity, and output. The crossover frequency allows you to set the range of low-end content to be processed by the Dynamics module and can be set between 20 Hz and 400 Hz. Intensity determines how much compression should be applied to the low frequencies being processed and output allows you to set the level of low frequencies post-compression. The screen in the center provides visual feedback on how your signal is being impacted by the processing. And with that, we've covered all of the major features that Toneforge Jeff Loomis has to offer. As I hope you've seen, there are truly endless possibilities for the different uses of this plugin. Direct input from legends like Jeff Loomis and Jens Bogren have made this one of the most powerful Toneforge releases yet. And paired with live mode, high-end tone is finally available everywhere, from studio to stage. Download Toneforge Jeff Loomis and so much more at joeysturgistones.com.